Sorry about that, y'all. What's up, Jake from State Farm? <laughs> oh, man, you must be busy right now. I know you're busy. You don't really work for State Farm. I know. I'm you just, just play. Okay. Yeah, I, know. You do that. Yo. I know. Okay, Foamy Cobra. He has, he's, he did say this in the last live. He has a couple drums of fuel that he's willing to donate, but he doesn't have other social media. What's the best way he can get in touch with you? He ain't got no other social media? No. I don't know why YouTube sucks with no messenger of no sort. I mean, sh I mean, I can give you my number. Is that, that how far? Yeah, but you have to put it all out on here. How far out are you? That how far out are you? He's out, he's from I think he's in here. He's in Louisiana or Mississippi, if I remember correctly. What's up, guys? Be back. What's up, Fat Cat? What's up, Kendall? If you don't mind giving me a number, I'll definitely message you. And uh, he don't want to put it on here. What's up? Oh, picky you. Okay, I was right. If you don't mind giving me a What's number, up, I, can, I can take a screenshot and message you because a lot of people can use fuel, man. It's liquid gold right now. Um. Or right, even if he could come with us. Come with us. If, if he has a way to down. transport it or something like that. Um. Yeah, we can go okay. out there together. Foamy Cobra, I'm gonna give you an email address. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put it in the comments. It's going to be from the Baker's family, and you can email us, and then we can give you, like, so, personal so. contact from that. Man, I'm hanging out, y'all. I finally got some lights in the house, man. I felt like a million dollars. I ain't going to send you a lot of y'all. Man, you don't realize, it. man, it's a long time. Did it go out of I got an F-250. Let me know if they went out or not, y'all. Is everything working good? Are we good? Okay. Okay. Oh wait, he showed me. Okay, he gave me his email address. Let me. You already got both of them cookbooks. This one and that one. Okay, I got it. I got it. Yes, Kristen, we got lights, girl. I got... Oh, I feel like brand new, y'all. I don't know how to act. I feel like I just won a million dollars. Yeah, I know. Thank you. What's up, Mama Dukes? Man, I love you, girl. That was a rough ten days. Oh my lord, man, this thing is rough. Okay. All right, so phone me over. I screenshotted your email address, so when we get off, we'll email you. We can either That's get it from easy. you, we can ride That's out there together and we'll bless people. We can do it either way, man. Look, I'm transparent with this, you know, as, as transparent as we can be. I know they got a lot of people out there, man, that just say it's a scam and it's an this and it's a that. Don't, don't. We can't worry about that. We just keep on doing good in the world and... Yeah, I mean, that might be my feelings for a minute. It gets sour in her feelings, but it's like, you know, you, you can't let that stop you from doing what you do. You know what I mean? You you know what you do, and that's why we are blessed how we are, and, and, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, a lot of people can use that fuel, believe me. And uh, we could ride out there, we could film, giving it to some people. Someone just said $200 to cash. Oh, we're going to, hey. Oh, I'm going to cry. We're going to go there. With, with, with them Transformers, we're going to bring this baby some Transformers. Let me tell you. Thank you. Thanks to y'all. Thank Ed, you so much. That was Ed. Oh, Ed. Oh, tell your wife don't put you on the sofa tonight. You don't, you don't Now you're helping her. kids. She can't put you on the sofa right no, now. No, bro. I tell her don't put you on the sofa. You're just too kind hearted. Thank you. Oh, it's, that's going to make me cry. This poor a, baby. Uh, As a mama... Oh, that hurts your heart. That picture just broke my heart. And so, you know, I, I really, y'all, honestly, remember we did Texas. And then after Texas, we did Amador, which was a homeless guy. We blessed him. And but we helped that, somebody with their funeral expenses. for their, I'm not going to say who. We did help somebody with funeral expenses, but that was not on this platform. Oh, yeah, that was on TikTok. That was on TikTok. Yeah, that's true. So, but I, I really don't like to ask... I don't like to overload my, my friends, y'all, with we always need to help somebody. <clears throat> but when the time is there and we need to help, we need to help. Unfortunately, yeah. I ain't a millionaire. I can't do it myself. I could. I would. I can't. This is the reality of life. But you do a lot in your I do. Life. I do more than I should. Hell, I go without sometimes. But hey, you know, Rhino. What's up, Rhino? But it's like uh, it's all of us. When we all come together, it makes a big difference. It does. We're going to get him some clothes. We're going to get him some Transformers. The baby's three years old. He's stressed out. We're going to help him. The RTB family is going to help him. That is yeah. guaranteed. You know, and uh, and honestly, and, and sadly, I hate to say it, but this will be probably the last one I do because we can't, we can't keep doing it because we can't make it all about, it. and I know this sounds bad, but we can't like overload people on, on help people, help people, help, help. 
You know what I mean? It's it's because we can't change the whole world. But we can change a few people's lives. We can make a few people's lives a little bit easier, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? And that that's what it's all about. And that's what I see. For real. Ed, don't ask. That's why I'm abbreviate Ed. I call you Ed. I don't know how to say your name. Don't ask me to pronounce it. We ain't going there tonight. How's Shirley doing, man? Shirley's hanging oh. in. Look, I was damaged, and, and it's a bad situation. Yeah, Nate, you. be praying for my ba my friend, my BFF, my ride or die, Shirley girl. She's going through it with the hurricane. Her house is kind of jacked up right now, so y'all be praying for Shirley girl. I bet, in, you know, me and her talk all the time. <clears throat> she said, um, I offered her help. She don't. She's like, I'm good. I'm okay. <clears throat> They just yeah. roughing it out like the rest of us. Uh, I'm got some white cards. Ralph, what you sipping on? I'm sipping on a little tequila and water, a little celebration. Second time this week, we said, you know what? First time, we was like, man, you know what? The hell with this, bro. Now we're <laughs> celebrating a little bit. This is the first time in about five years or four or five years we ain't had no kids. We got two in Alabama. We got the two oldest in Alabama. What the hell? And we got two at Mama's house, so we and got, we got lights, and we got lights, and we got Wi-Fi, bro. So, so we 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 out here. We got lights. We ain't got no kids. It's just us. We feel like we won the lottery. I appreciate you. So we about to bless everybody. We in the mood to bless. We are blessed. We gonna. Bless. And like I tell y'all, man, if y'all got family out here, some family we can you go to. You said y'all go to bed, bro. <laughs> no. Y'all got family out here, man. Slidell, New Orleans, Lafouche Parish, anywhere. Y'all let me know, man. And if we can help them, we're going to help them. That's right. If it's an AC unit, if it's gasoline, if it's if it's some food they need, if it's water they need, just let me know directly on Instagram. Ralph the Baker 101. We'll be there at that front door. And we're going to do what we can, okay? Unfortunately, we can't bring them 10 G's cash, but we, but we can do oh, what we can. Oh, Micah, do you need anything? Micah said I'm in Kennebra. Still no powers. Anything we can so do what for you So, Micah, do you need some gas? Let me know. I mean, you know what I mean? We're, we're 10 or 15, 20 gallons of gas. Help you out. If so, let us know. We make First it happen. time you can afford to be dehydrated from alcohol in 10 days. Get lit. Yeah. That's what's up, Foamy. Foamy, you might be coming through with us. Cause we got a truck. Foamy, you, you can ride with us, Foamy. We go to Gallon yeah, we'll bless you people, man. We have a truck, but to be honest, like the bed is kind of so like we, we got can a fit three things up. in there. It's a Tacoma, it's a Toyota Tacoma, but it's tall. Like the wheels is big on that thing, man. It's, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, so we can bring the supplies. And I don't we can know bring how you drums. fill up them big old drums, but I don't know how you move them big drums, but we can figure it out. Hey, sweet brown sugar, I see what's up, you. What's up? Blessing coming y'all's way. Thank you, no kids. I know y'all don't know how to act good for y'all. We don't, man. And look, we live with y'all, man. We're trying to help some people and hang with y'all, man, and just. Oh, Sonny said I'm gonna break the chair again. <laughs> Sonny, that's y'all. Y'all want to see this? She done took that. Hold up. I don't show them the chair. Sonny, hold up. I sent y'all my contact info through the website. Y'all let me know if I can help with anything else. Thank you, Ed. I will do. Our Sarah has taken down a chair. Do y'all see this? Yeah, you ain't right. She took it down, bro. Clean. Okay? You ain't right. The last thing I needed to do is take down the next chair because uh, we won't have a table. Okay, so Miss Kelly, generators aren't really an issue anymore. Generators are very plentiful for people to buy. Gas is becoming more. Um, more in our area specifically, Howard's in over five. What's Howard, up, thank Saint you. Kirsch. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. Gas is becoming in our specific part of town more available. However, it's becoming harder for people to afford to it's run the generators girl. for gas. Man, it's thirty or forty dollars a day, and some people need yes. to run two generators. It's like, dang, man, sixty. I, I, I mean, it's expensive, y'all. It's uh, <clears throat> it don't sound expensive, but you know, also remember. Once that storm hits, y'all, you don't just go to the store unless you have to, you know, and that'd be sad. But yeah, by the time you stand in a two-hour line, you need to get what you can get. You know what I mean? Like, you know how on a regular day, I know I can't be the only one. Sometimes when my money ain't right, bro, I go down to the store, I pick up some, some pork chops, some brown gravy or whatever I'm getting, whatever. And then I go home and then that's the meal for the day. And then the next day I'll go and get what I need to get. I've been there many times in my life, man. Yeah. But after a storm, you can't do that because, hell, you're just sat in a line for two hours to get in. 
Right. So like, say you got 200 bucks, you might spend a clean 180 there and save $20. Cause it's not that you can afford to spend it, but you got to get it while you're there. Cause you just stayed in line for so long. So that's what I think a lot of people probably don't realize. Yeah, this storm brought a lot of different problems that I don't think we've seen before in other storms. Not even storms. Dog Katrina. No, like fuel, that like the shortage of fuel wasn't an issue. No. The shortage of supplies wasn't an issue. We've yeah. had the worst utility outage combined between like the last five storms we've had out here. So it's like a whole different way of doing things that I think we've but seen But I need to show them that picture. Um, nine months from now, Big Daddy would. We ain't got to worry about that because we, we ain't going to have no nine months problems. Y'all know what I'm about to drop. As soon as I can start shipping again, y'all, if y'all don't know, you ought to know. It's that time of the year I'm about to drop the cocoa bombs. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Yes. And those things go and faster than I, can, I can't even keep up. There's no way. It's not possible. Other people make them, but they don't make them like me. I was the inventor of them. So when we drop them, those things go hot like hotcakes, man, on the website. Those, those yes. cocoa bombs. So I'm looking forward to that because we're finally at that time of the year. Yeah, so y'all don't order stuff right now. Yeah, just chill. Right. We got to wait till like... like it, it says it's picking up. I seen UPS and stuff out. Yeah, the post office just opened up, I think, today. Um, So now we just need to get supplies to make products and stuff okay. like that. So just give us a little bit more time. We're going to post up. So, because everybody's angry with us right now. We're not getting orders out. They cursing us out. They really not Disputing happy. Disputing everything. But I'm like, damn. Just hold off. Good. Um, I swear I'm coming to meet y'all one day when things calm down. We need to have a fundraiser bowl or something. Know. You know, man, I'll check look, in. And we always F love to bless people, man. That, that's just, it's always been a passion of mine, y'all. I've been doing this all my life. And, uh, man, Thank you, you know, it's, uh, it's one of them things, you know. It's, uh, I, I, before I had a following, you know, I would bless, Sarah knows. Hell, I give everybody to have nothing else left to give, you know. And, that's uh right. But just always been that way. And Sarah's like, you know, sometimes she's like, Ralph, you might have gave a little too much this time. And it's not that our heart ain't right, but she's probably right. But it's just, it's just the way I am. It's just, I don't know. I don't like to see people hurting. I don't like to see people doing without. Even if I ain't got much. If I got $20, I guarantee I'm going to give you 10 You know what I mean? I might not have a lot. But I ain't going to have 10000 and give you $20 either. If I got 10, bro, I might give you a clean thousand, bro. Maybe <laughs> two if your story is if your story is sad enough, bro, I might give you two or three thousand, bro. You know, like I always but it's just the way I am. It's just it just it's just Thank you guys. It's just who I am. So right now, like I said, we got three year old Luke. Yes, that's lost the his focus clothes, of the live tonight. Lost his clothes. He loves Transformers. It broke his heart, which in the picture, if y'all seen the picture, that's why he's kinda upset because he lost his Transformers. I never liked Transformers when I was younger, but that's me. But poor Luke, three years old, lost his Transformers. So we raised the money for him. And honestly, I'll just probably be the last person. We're going to go out there to LaFouche, LaPlace. Lafosse. That's food, that's fuel, that's all that. And then we're going to go out together live, because I'll be able to go live, and we'll go live together, and we'll bless Luke, and we'll meet him. Like I said, he's three years old. We'll bring him a bunch of Transformers and... Hopefully some clothes if we raise enough money and we're gonna bless them, man. We're gonna bless them. Oh, so hold on. Before I move on to the next subject, um, because I'm hype, like I'm super hyper tonight because I got lights, so y'all bear with me. Number one, if y'all find it in your hearts to donate to Luke, we have all the information in the description for the Cash App Venmo and PayPal. We ask that you don't send it through yeah. YouTube, if don't possible, because... Oh, yeah, I don't know if they'll... Yeah, know. because they take 45%. They guys. take half, almost half, and then it's like, it takes a while to come in. So, for the immediate need, um, that is the best way to help out Luke. Yeah, we're going to go there this weekend, like guys. To. This weekend, we'll go meet Luke. Let me show him the picture. Okay. So, um, Christy B, my girl so is Christy in B. here. Y'all be praying baby. for Christy B. She goes to have surgery, yes. um, brain surgery on the 21st, I believe, of September. Praying so, y'all be Christy praying B. for her. We love Christy B. She's a moderator in here. She's a good, a uh, great person. Um, and stuck with us through the thick and thin. So, y'all be praying for Christy B. Yeah, man. Um. And like I said, also, y'all, don't forget, if you have family down here in Louisiana that's going through it, they need gas. 
fuel, anything, food, food. anything. Just yeah. let us know. You know, hit me up directly yes. on Instagram, Ralph the Baker One Hundred One. I'll be at their door. Yeah. Okay. So. So um know. yes, we personally have water. We're no longer under our boiler advisory. Yeah, we, one, we even so, got Wi-Fi. We don't. No, we got Wi-Fi. We, we don't only have water. We can watch Netflix. We can and we can drink the water. And we can bathe in the water. Ooh, I washed my hair. Y'all, we can turn the lights on, excuse bro. Excuse me, I lost my. No, we can turn the lights on. We, 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 I'm it. using Christmas ribbon to tie my hair up tonight. Y'all just excuse me. Ralph told me I looked like I was crazy. I didn't care because I'm just clean. I'm just happy. I said yesterday through Cash App. Thank you, Kristen. I did we see that. We'll it. put that towards Thank you so Luke. Much. Yeah, that'll go towards um, Luke. Right now, we're focusing down on Luke. Like I said, this will be the last one because we can't save the yeah, world. Yeah, we can't keep. I can't keep hitting y'all up on this, but my heart tells me one thing, but I know the reality is that we all sometimes all struggling. Some of us are struggling right now. Yes. You know, so we, we can't do it all the time, but man, that picture just really touched me, man. That picture really, really touched me. <laughs> Give us a break. Okay, so Ralph will be cooking next. Hold on. We already got it out of the frosting. We're going to be, he's going to be cooking up this beautiful sausage we have here. Wait, hold Tell on. Tell me where it came from. I ain't got it on now. Fresh green. And I don't know what hold he's on. making. She's showing y'all. She's showing y'all what I'm doing. Now. Ooh, I can't wait to eat this. I don't know what he's making with this. But this is some good, like, homemade sausage from Big Swole. His name is sausage, bro. Ooh, look at that. Y'all are good people. Thank you. Nana said over five. Thank you. Um, so he's gonna be Thank cooking you. up this good homemade sausage from Big Swole. He is somebody that came out and blessed us big time. Tremendously. When we needed help. Look, big time when we needed help. Big <laughs> stop showing off Ralph's meat. Ah, <laughs> uh, see that? So Big Swole is I'm somebody. I'm gonna put him on Instagram because anybody in Louisiana. Yeah possible to get your hands on some of that if i tell you I guarantee you and i think it's so good because he does it fresh you know what i mean he ran through machines oh look he's on here william ferguson he's in the comments y'all there you go I, well okay big swole put your stuff in here Let what's the best way somebody can contact you for the sausage i didn't know you was in the chat because i was just about to ask you how somebody could get in touch with you what's the best way man let me tell you something we cooked up that sausage bro like he because he brought it to us and he brought us hooked us up in the time of need we literally cooked up that sausage my mama did which because she was staying with us because of the storm man we ate that on bread and everybody was like my lord that's good man huh yeah when i tell y'all it's good it was so it's so good it's fresh Mm -hmm. You know when you get like like they got some good sausage out there, but it's like you can tell it's been ran through. It's it's just high production. This right here, you can be like, bro, this is some I real. Woo! I almost slid off my. I can't wait, y'all. I'm so excited. It's what you good. Making? Ooh. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, y'all, but I know what I'm gonna definitely this do. This says with. fresh green. Does that mean? Oh, that's green onion. That's I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a piece of the green onion. I ain't gonna lie Ooh. to you. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do with this for myself personally. I'm hungry, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and cook that up. I'm, so I'm gonna hit that on this one on the griddle, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and slice it down the middle when it's cooked. I'll throw it on a slab of bread with a little mustard myself. And now this one I'm gonna make a meal out of, okay? Look at that. Ooh, it makes some jambalaya. Yeah, that's like fresh as I don't. You can't they get said, no that's more. That's what's fresh. up, Brian O'Brien. That's what's up. Ooh, so, yeah, I'm so man. hungry. I've been eating spaghettios. Ralph the Baker, I have me eating spaghettios. I'm so sick man, we of him. We were just surviving. We wasn't thriving. We were just surviving. I'm so sick of Ralph making me eat spaghettios. We ain't wanted like that. It's just the way it ended up. All right, hold on. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Make me one more beverage. Ralph knows a good raw sausage by looking at it. <laughs> well, y'all see the big old chunks of that green onion? Let me Ooh, show you. French up. toast, mate. That sounds fancy. Hold up, y'all. What are you doing with my damn sausage, huh? Right there, full on the second shelf. I put it in the refrigerator. Swole and bring us on the damn food. I can't I got so much so big swole, y'all came through with gas. Y'all see when you see that big old sausage, you see that green onions up in there like that, y'all? When you can see it up in there, boy, I guarantee it, y'all. I'm telling you something. Man, you get you some of this. Y'all need to get some for the holidays and stuff like that, or for every day. But man, see them holidays coming up? I guarantee you'd be like, man, that Ralph, you'd be like, Ralph, you directed us in the right way. Y'all know if it's raggedy, I don't really be. I don't tell y'all much where to nothing. But 
When it's good, it's good. That, that's plain and simple, okay? So Our Asian you know. brother from another mother brings us back Boudin from Louisiana. When that's... he comes back from his days off, it is still... Oh, Boudin is so good, y'all. Oh, Ralph has a Boudin recipe. Y'all can check out. That's so bomb. He's praying for Christy B's surgery. Um, you show him a picture of my boy because I, I this live I didn't show him because it ended. We just went live, uh, Gilbert, Gilberto. We had to do a second live because the first one ended. So, um, I don't know who all seen my post. Is what I'm saying. Peter, you can exit the chat if you feel that way. Peace to the is out. Uh, Frank said, I can't wait for Coco Bombs. Ralph yeah, they're coming. Truth. They're coming, y'all. Look, we do what we do to help people. We're not going to stop helping people. We come together. That's what we do. Okay? And that's just what we do. That is what we do. And we've done it many a times, and we will continue mm. to do that on this page. We're going to damn sure cook, especially since I got some lights back. we damn sure going to cook. Uh, it is what it is. It's what we do. We help people. No, they don't like me. I, 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 you gotta love Sarah, man. You just gotta <laughs> love her. Because, you know, sometimes she could be on my nerves, okay? But, what? you know. So you take a Peter side? Well, you know, Peter, don't, don't put me in the doghouse like that, bro. Peter can kick rocks, okay? But just just everybody. I ain't worried about Peter, y'all. Everybody bear with us, man. Bear with us. Ow. Peter, you meet Ron Ralph. <laughs> Man, you ain't even show them that my, what All I'm right. doing, man. What I'm trying All to get right, us okay. to do here. Uh, thank you, guys. What's up, Albania? Shit, man. Albania. Wow, okay. that's awesome. So right now, we do focus on cooking, Peter. However, right now, Louisiana, where our cooking, our, the Cajun culture comes from, is in quite distress. Um, man, y'all, let, let me stop you there. Okay. Y'all, I understand they're not showing y'all little this news, okay? I understand they're not showing y'all. And I can respect that they're not showing y'all because that's the way of life and that's the way it goes, okay? But right now, y'all, it's a very unfortunate situation, all right? It's, they're not helping the people of Louisiana. I don't give a damn what you hear on the news. Oh, we gave $180 million. Let me tell y'all something. I lost all my damn food in the refrigerator, okay? That's the reality. Big Swole come through, Money Outdoors came through, hooked me up, I'm good, my lights are back on, everything is good. But here's the reality, okay? People are suffering way more than me, okay? So, they can say what they want, but because it didn't hit New Orleans, okay, which I'm five minutes outside of, I'm more than the city boy than the Cajuns, than, 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 than the real Cajuns out there, okay? Now, but let me tell you something, the Cajuns are hit and they hit hard, that's the reality of it, all right? They're not going to get the publicity you think that they, they're not going to get it, okay? It's not New Orleans. It's got to be New Orleans. And it's not. FEMA says they are doing this, doing that. Guess what? FEMA didn't give me a measly $500. FEMA is a joke. It's, it's terrible. I, I told them. I told FEMA. They don't even do because of the, you know, the situation that been going on for two years at a black man, as I can't say it. They said, they do it over the phone. I told them, yeah, well, no electricity, 10 days, lost this, lost that. We're just being honest with him. Oh, he just placed me home? No, sir. Because I ain't going to lie. You know what I mean? It's going to be, it is what it is. <clears throat> he said, all right, you'll have your results in 30 minutes on a two-minute phone call. All right, fair enough. Boom, come back, deny. Man, it's only $500 anyway, so it's like, all right, it is what it is. No big deal. But 500 is a lot, of, a lot to somebody right now, especially if they don't have nothing and shit. So, but anyway, this little boy right here, this is, this is what we're talking about right here. See this right here? Look, he lost all his Transformers. He lost his clothes. This is who we're raising money for right now. This is who we're going to go live on. This is who we're going to... We are going to bless him this weekend. There's no doubt about it. Uh, a tree went through his house. You see the water and, and all that on his floor and all that? That's who we're going to bless this weekend, y'all. Okay? So, that's what we're going to do. Look at him. Pull up, baby. He's three years old. Oh, he lives on the West Bank. We live on the East Bank. That's who we're going to bless, man. And... and and that's what RTB is going to do. And that, that's, that's a few people come through already. Hopefully a few more come. And it is what it is, you know. Uh, I, and I think a lot of people, maybe the people that, that, that go down about helping people aren't people that help people. I, I don't know. Well, at the end of the day. Like, I don't know. Because I always think, like, how can you be, 
mad about helping people and mad about talking or helping people when, God forbid, it could be your family and we could be talking about blessing your family. Because I don't know this little kid or his family. But it doesn't really matter. What matters is he's heartbroken because he lost his transformers. Right. And he really lost his clothes, but he's heartbroken because he lost his transformers. You know what I mean? So, like... Anybody that's wanting to help out with Luke, uh, we're doing lives this weekend and our videos depending on service. So I'm just trying to be transparent. It'll, I'm going to videotape as much footage as I can in case we can't go live because service is really, but really bad. But since it's on the West Bank, it's a high probability we can Man. go live. So otherwise, it's going to be a video footage. That's um, all if y'all would like right? to, to help out with Luke, tonight that's what whatever's collected tonight. This is the last one I'm doing because yeah, this is it. This is it. Um, I, I know will be, it's in the description. They have the cash, have the Venmo, all of that in the description, guys. We ask that it's not done here if possible because they take a very large percentage. So we want to try a 45 and get as much on. to him as possible. But it just broke my heart to see him, you know, and I was able to find his dad and his dad reached out. And, uh, you know, so if we can bless him, man, and, and, and get him some Transformers and maybe get him some clothes. You know, he's three years old. Did you ask if, um, okay, Christy B, thank you so much for plugging the website at the second. We're not trying to take orders at the moment yeah, we because we can't produce product at the second. But them cocoa bombs are coming out soon. Probably we within a week we can, but at the moment we don't want to, um, take orders. Um... So our whole thing is, is that I know people are like, stick to cooking, that's what you need to do. But what's the point of having a platform, this is our opinion, if it's not to help people? Like, yes, Ralph's thing is cooking, giving recipes, and that's what he does. That's every video he does. But what's the point of knowing people, and we have resources, and we have connections, What's the point of having right, that? Do real, let's be honest. People. We can do real shit that the news is acting like they're doing. We can do real shit that FEMA's acting like they're doing. We can go touch somebody's life. Thank yeah, you, Kendall. I get we it. appreciate you. I get it. He's a kid. He's three years old. But can you tell by that picture he's in, he's stressed out? The boy's crying with big rubber with his daddy's rubber boots on. You know what I mean? Like, man, that's it's heartbreaking, man. It's heartbreaking. And you know what? Guaranteed this weekend we're gonna see the biggest smile on his face because I'm coming through with Transformers. I guarantee it. I'm coming through. We right. coming through. Our TV family has already donated a few bucks. Don't matter if it's three hundred yeah. or three thousand. We coming through. Okay? That's what I'm saying. It's like like we're gonna come through. We're gonna bless him, and that's just what we do. And and we all in bad times. I just got lights back on after ten days. Right. But I'm so fortunate. My kids didn't have to do that. My kids. Parker fell asleep the other day outside. In the sun, because it was cool out there, and it wasn't the house. I didn't come on and ask for nothing, because there's nothing to ask for. Big yeah. Swole brought me all kind of food. Muddy, Muddy brought me all kind of food. Muddy brought me the air conditioner. Like, we was good. So, you know, it's like... But when you see something like that, it's just heartbreaking, man. And so you, you step up to the plate, and you, you, you help if you can. Don't matter if it's $5, $50. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even know how much Transformers cost, because I don't buy Transformers. But... You know, the boy lost his Transformers, you know? It was all wet and milk. Lost his clothes? Because the tree specifically fell in his room. Right. Now, the family is safe. Thank God. They had three kids. Well, that's home. what he said, yeah. Uh, we, now, so a little backstory because we said this on the first live. Ralph was, when the, vi when the photo got a lot of attention on his Instagram, we found the photo on Facebook. And Ralph showed it just to, like, bring awareness that kids are going through a lot of stress right now. Like... And open my eyes, and I didn't realize it, y'all. Yeah. I didn't realize it. Our kids are going through it, but luckily our kids didn't lose anything no. monetarily. And it really opened your eyes. Like, kids are feeling the stress and the anxiety. So. And I didn't realize that, y'all. To be yeah. honest with y'all, is, 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 and I hate to say it, but I, I didn't realize that the kids are going through it like us. But you know what? When you're a kid and you're three years old, you're Transformers and, and, and maybe everything to you, you know? Yeah. So, it's just, thank you, Junior. We appreciate anybody that's donating. Yeah, thank you. It's like, if all, me and Ralph have said this a hundred times. If all this ended tomorrow, platforms, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. If it all ended tomorrow, it only matters what we're able to do. There's a lot of people that we've been able to help 
And this isn't for bragging or for clout. This is just transparency. There's a lot of people we've been able to help personally that we've never said anything about. They, you know, they've, we went and helped people in Lafouche Parish and they were like, please don't videotape it. We don't want it. Of course, we were, we we're going right, to respect are, that. Some people are embarrassed that they need help. Yeah, and, and, and I get that. You're embarrassed. You don't want to be helped. You know what I mean? I, you, or you don't want people to know you need help. Right, and it's it. like if we have the ability to come out and I just, I don't know, I don't understand people But like I still take pictures it. and I show and I still take videos. Yeah, as much as possible. Videos and pictures of the product we bought, gas, food, water, video, Lafouche Paris, the whole thing so that we know, because I sure the hell ain't going out there for my damn looks. Um, and just, just try and help people, and that, that's the reality of it. But it's like, if it all ended tomorrow, it only matters on who was able to... Who was touched. Who was... Right. It's like, what's the point? I mean, we're not millionaires by no stretch of the imagination. We're not no. becoming rich off of this. No. So it's like, frick it. Why not... I want to say the F word, but I'm trying to be respectful for YouTube's guidelines. Why not help people? Like, if... You know what I'm saying? It's like we have, we've met a lot of great people, a lot of resources, a lot of stuff that we can like, that we've never been able to do before. You know, I always think, y'all, imagine if each person just donated one dollar. I have almost 800,000 followers. 800,000. Maybe we could change. Y'all know what we could do with something like that? Y'all know the lights we could change Thank with something guys. like that? But some people just don't have a dollar to donate, and then most people just don't give a damn enough to do it. You know, it's the reality of the situation. Because you know what? When I get cash apps and it's $2, I'll hard a $2 as fast as I'll hard a $100. Because somebody might have 8 bucks in their bank account the way I see it, but they gave us 2 to go bless somebody else. So just because somebody gives more doesn't necessarily mean they're doing more. They may have a hundred hey, grand in their girl. bank. Rosie's in our so, what's up, Rosie? Thank you for you, you blessing people, too. Yeah, but the point is, is that you never, you can't, it doesn't matter if it's $2 because it's still a blessing and it's going to help somebody. It doesn't matter. The amount doesn't matter. It's, yeah. We're going to go here. We're going to bless Luke. He's three years old. We're going to at least get Luke a few clothes. We're going to get him some Transformers. Yeah, your sister called. She said she's going to get him some stuff. My sister, man, she's got a big heart. We're going we're gonna to bless Luke as best as we can, yo. Uh, like I say, he's three years old. If you ain't seen the picture and you want to see it, let me know. But that that's what we're doing, you know what I mean? We just It's just, I don't know. You know, I can't change the world, but but a I lot mean, of people think that. But a lot of people act like we Jake Paul making all that money or, 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 or Mr. Beast. I wish the hell we was, y'all. That'd yeah. be really nice. You know what? Let's just be transparent and be honest with y'all. I, I don't, I don't Thank break. Thank you, Ben. He sent a dollar. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. I don't break a thousand dollars a month on YouTube. And can y'all imagine how much money when I, now the storm been messed us up, but imagine what it costs me to make these videos. But I love to do it because I love to show y'all and it's, it's awesome. They said everything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Like, but, but people think since we got a, 165,000 followers, we're making all this bankroll, but it's not true. Yeah. I don't make $15 a day. On millions of views. It's not true. It's fake. It's a lie. Hell, I thought I'd be rich too when I had as many followers. It's a lie. Yeah. But since I love it and I do want to show the recipes and share the recipes, that's why I do it. That's just being Well, honest. and there is a bit. I'm not going to lie. There is a business aspect to it. Ralph does get to promote his website on it. And we're able to make a that. living on that. So it's not like it's just like all for fun. So it's like, you know, we're not going to act like... No, but I was able to do that because I got the 500,000 followers on TikTok, which is right. where it all started. Now, I love my t my YouTube community, which is why I come to, to my YouTube community. That's the reason I come. And I love my I love TikTok community. Uh, but thank you, uh, Melly. She's in over 25. <laughs> thank you, Melly. But here's the reality. I come to YouTube because my YouTube community, for some reason... Is more dedicated and loving than my TikTok community. I'm sorry I said it. If you're from TikTok, I love you anyway. And thank you for being on YouTube. But my YouTube community is something different. Oh, than... Rosie said over 50. Oh, Rosie. Thank you. Thank Rosie. you. My... Rosie's been such a blessing through this, too. Rosie's Everybody been since has. the beginning. It's, it's phenomenal. But we just try and touch people, y'all. It's, it's, it's all about my longtime followers know that this is what we do. 
and I don't like to do it too often, but we, we are under a, a severe situation right now in Louisiana. Well, we've been able to help a homeless man get yeah. a vehicle, get on his feet, be able to work. We fed 500 people we fed, at yeah. least. Oh, I think it was around about 500 people we've been able to feed in Texas during the Mel, how many storm. people did we feed, me and Money Outdoors? How many people do you think we fed mm -hmm. for that ice storm, Mel? And, and guess what, guys? We didn't ask for donations for that. I, I, we paid for that, you know, so. Now, hold up. That's a good idea. Ralph could, if he could fight the Paul brothers for some Louisiana hurricane relief. I'd do it in a minute. Let's do it. I'd do it in a minute. Just not even to bring a dime home. I'd do it in a minute. Hit might, me with that case. I might get beat go. down, but don't get me wrong. But, I, but I'd do it in a minute just to help Louisiana because, man, we hit, y'all. Occasion brothers and sisters and families are hit, man. It's not us Creoles. Us Creoles, we ain't, we hit, but we ain't that hit. But all the real Cajuns down there in the bayou, y'all. Thank you guys. We love y'all. Man, they hit y'all. They did. I don't know how they're gonna come back from this. When I went down there to the food Paris. Yo, oh, my brother was in the was in Laplace. Swam out of there. Literally, what water was up to his neck. His the, his whole house is gone. Ruined. Water over the rooftops, swam out of it like it hit home hard. But we're trying. And, and guess what? I ain't gonna raise no money for Sarah's brother. Thank you, Rosie. I did not go raise no money for Sarah's brother, y'all. I'm sorry, but but it has to be a different situation. I don't give a damn if you're family or not. It has to touch the heart, and it's not that I don't feel bad that he had. A I don't just help because you family, right? I do not do No, that. we gave him resources. I like personally, like we offered help. Luckily, they have insurance and things to rebuild and they're Speaking in a better that, situation. If y'all been here long enough, you know, mama lost a thrift shop. I didn't come on here and say, hey, my mama needs something. I didn't tell y'all that. Matter of fact, y'all yeah. just hearing it. I didn't say, hey, my mama needs something because the fact of the matter is mama's got a little insurance. Hopefully, she could get her insurance to help her. Right. I'm helping people that... that Thank you, Rose. That need help. You know what I'm saying? Like, I come when you, when, you, when you need help. It's like, hey, we live and direct. We helping you now. RTB family came together. That, that's why I'm going to help you. And it's not that I want to help my mama. Because, of course, I love my mama to death. I help her. But she's got a little insurance. Hopefully, they help her. You know what I'm saying? But Thank you. T. Santos and over 50. T. Santos, thank, thank you so you guys. much. Yeah, Rosie. Rosie was another one when we first met her because she put it on here, so I'll say it. Uh, we helped her we out with best. her sister's funeral expenses. We did a fundraiser for her, like, you know, live to, to get money for her to help her out because it was an unexpected situation. So it's like, why, at the end of the day, we just want to... I can tell you, Rosie has, has done less, more people than we raised that night. Yeah. I guarantee it. I, Rosie by has given it back probably tenfold by now. With supporting us or supporting people. So I have it. my point is, guys, is that I don't just come on here for my family. Or I damn sure don't come on here for me. My mama lost her business. I didn't come ask for nothing, guys, because it's not necessary. Mama, to be honest with y'all, she's got a twenty thousand dollar insurance policy. And we'll see what happens with that. Sarah's brother, he lost his entire house with his dad. They got insurance. We'll see what happens with that. Like people yeah. that are all right. Oh, JD's in the house. You know, JD, Chris, what's up, baby? Kristen's um, husband. Y'all yeah, know JD, the goddamn old worker. <laughs> Slinging fucking chains around pipes and all that. I seen all that stuff on TikTok. I seen that. They swing pipes around the old like it ain't nothing and stuff like that. Shaking my head. Do people dislike y'all's live stream? I know Tyler. Jake said, Ralph is changing the world. When you change one person's point of view and help another, you already did more than you think. JD, you did. And, and you and your wife blessed us, man. Thank you, man. You know, y'all. Oh, Jarhead said over 50. My dad was born and raised in Louisiana. Jarhead, he was thank the you. toughest man I ever knew. He always told me that Louisiana produces the toughest people in the country, and it's true. Y'all. Man, you know, thank and, you, and, and that's. Thank you. thank you so much. And let me tell you, man. Us Creoles down here in New Orleans, and myself included, we, we different than them, than, than the guys down there, them Cajun fellas, man. Captain J, he's 72. I said that he was 74. Wait, hold on one second, baby. So I'm going to ask how to did it. So tonight we're raising money for Luke. Let me send him to A three-year-old who lost a lot of his belongings specifically. Which was important to him was his Transformers. Transformers. So we so found look. him on Facebook. 
Uh, it was a viral. I don't know how viral it was. It wasn't viral. No. It was just a shared picture that Ralph posted, got a lot of attention. So we're bring. So Ralph was able to contact the parents because they're local on the West Bank, um, in Louisiana, and. So we're gonna try and get him his clothes that he lost, some toys, cause he likes Transformers. So tonight's about Luke. We're gonna go this weekend for whatever's collected, get stuff together. Um, they have three kids total. So we're gonna just bring him some cash, some clothes, some my, toys. My thing is, is to bring some toys and some Transformers. Like RTB family came together. That's okay, Amanda. A couple of Transformers. Okay some clothes, and then some cash, and we'll do that transparently, you know what I mean? Like, y'all know, come on. I, I, I'm gonna tell you something, all right? I've learned long ago, all money ain't good money, and I'd be damned if I'm gonna come on here and say I'm raising money for somebody and I can give it to them. So I do it transparently, and then when we come together, it's what we do. Like I said, we did it for Texas, we did it for Amador who was homeless, we did it for a few people, and we just do what we can. Uh, T. Santos sent over 50. Hook your boy up with some seasoning. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, Brandon, yes. Yeah, so the guy that got killed by the alligator, we didn't know him personally. Man, um, God, oh, man. He was what? inside out. That's about 35 minutes of, like over the twin span from us. My stepdad worked with like a family member. The mo the wife got a lot of bad media on that. Um, that I've heard is very from like personally is very much not true. Um, she, the family's really going through it, so y'all just be praying. A man got so you think about it. Let's say you, you know, let's say you're an older woman, and and I ain't gonna spend a lot of time on it, but let's go through this. You're an older woman. Yes, thank you, Steve Sanchez. And yeah, thank you. We truly appreciate it, and, and man, we're gonna. We're going to bless this boy with some Transformers this weekend live. What's that Anybody on here that's in the area and you want to come, you're part of the RTB family and you want to come meet them, you might yeah. have a, you might want to buy a Transformer to bring it to them, man. Join us. Yeah. Come the, with the, us. the family gave us permission. The dad spoke with Ralph. He said that's fully fine. Um, you know, that's all good. It's not a cloud situation. We're just going to bless the baby. We're parents. And yeah, it's just, you know, so if you're down here, yeah. donate it or not, and you want to just come, and you want to meet the baby, and you want to meet the family, and you might want to, or maybe you want to bring them a $20 train. I don't know how much Transformers are, 10 20, I don't know. But you want to bring them one, and you want to come with us? Come with us. Let's go bless them together, like a family. We going out there, and we bless them, man. Yeah. And we're going to give them the Transformers. Let's bring them some clothes. He's three years old. He looks kind of skinny. I think he wears, like... If I had to guess, maybe like a four or five. So four or five. No one from like that my means. kids. I don't if know I had what that guess, means, like but four or five. My I point would... is, is that anybody is welcome to come with us, and we can do it together. Like I have no issue with doing it together, as well as we're gonna be live. Yeah, you I know? mean, so, if y'all have resources and want to hook up, we're trying to do it with by this weekend. Um, so if y'all have resources, like like supplies like physical supplies and y'all want to come out and y'all are able to and y'all are y'all can get to the Maybe area that's something you have, you that know? may be better than like us trying to hook up with y'all and getting it because we only have so much transportation y'all are welcome to come hand yeah. it out be a part of it totally yeah yeah, yeah. be a part i'm happy of it. i live in a time where people can send money to you and they're exactly where it's going just from your words so awesome thank you jake May the hey Lord you know to bless y'all that's why, you know, I tell people, man, I, I don't do skims and scams. I, there's no reason. There's no point. I'm so blessed, man. I, I got my website, and people tremendously blessed me by buying my product. So, and, and I mean, there, there's just absolutely no reason, guys. I'd be damned if I'm going to come here and say I'm raising money for a baby and I give it to them. I will be damned. Not only are we gonna bless oh, whatever we raise, we ain't playing that. Not only are we gonna do whatever we raise, but I guarantee you, I'm gonna go buy this baby some Transformers myself. Oh yeah. You know, so it is what it is. You know, it's I can't save the world, so this will probably be the last person we can help because for this circumstance, okay. Like I say, if you're in Louisiana, your family's in Louisiana, and your family needs help. Let me know. Let's see what we can do. Message me directly. If they need air conditioning or they need some gas or they need some food. Message me directly. Yeah, we've been a one -on -one. helping out people and locally as well. If they don't want to be on, on here and they just need some food and they need some fuel, they don't have to be on our page, okay? They don't have to 
feel like they need to be on the air. We don't have the. Some people want to be private, and guess what? I help people and don't say nothing. It's okay. It's it's all right. It's it's good. You know. So just let us know. We can do it directly. It's not a problem. You know. Yeah. Yes, we got lights on as of like, it was 10 long days, y'all. I tried not to complain because so we didn't get a lot of damage. We lost some stuff, but not anything significant. Like we lost clothes. We lost, um, because our laundry room got a leak we didn't know about. Uh, we what lost. You well, we did lose your Santa and your Christmas tree. Damn right we did. We lost stuff in the garage because part of the garage roof came off. But however... We're safe. Our house is okay. It was okay. significant to me. I lost my Santa Claus that I had to buy. That took me seven hours waiting, trying to get a price on to buy him. And I broke his head off on the store, but he worked. Okay. Now, so However, And my $300 very, Christmas tree is done. But it's very small in the comparison of what people have. It is, lost. bro, but I did like that. I mean, damn, bro. I even had it just one I'm Christmas. I'm going to get you man. another one. It's all right. Jesus said you wasn't going to have it but for one Christmas. So that's just that. Have a good night. Thank you, Sonny. Love you guys. We love you, too. The tents in the backyard are gone, Tyler. They're gone. I got no tents. Gone bro. with the wind. I ain't even asked for a donation, bro. I got to go buy some more tents, man. We're going to get some more tents. I'll call make you repeat a lot. <laughs> I think I think the tents are gone, bro. I think the tents are done. They, 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 they're down there, down the road somewhere, about seven, eight blocks. God bless it, poor Sam. Yeah, man. The grill is good. We did... We did hunker down the equipment, the cooking equipment on the other side of the garage that didn't get water damaged, so that's Except cool. for my jambalaya pot, bro. Jambalaya yeah, the jambalaya pot. jambalaya pot took a hit. Jambalaya pot took water, man. It rusted out, bro. So jambalaya pot's hit. Oh, my God, I had to buy a new one on that, but I'll get a new one eventually. <laughs> he said, dang, bro, that's your cooking station. <laughs> Everything's hit, bro. I ain't even gonna come to here to bullshit y'all. It's all good. Jambalaya pot rusted it's out and my tents are gone, but I'll figure that out. Believe me, y'all know. Y'all already know. We'll figure that out right now. But it was a rough know, 10 days. It, it was rough, man. It was Ooh, rough. We thought we was gonna kill each other. We just, sent the big kids off. They're in Alabama having a good time with Muddy Outdoors. Bruh, first time in five years. Kid free. Two in Alabama and two at Mama's house, bro. Boom. Me and Sarah, fifteen dogs, bro. No plan. Cause we got that little puppy. Oh, T Santa's blessed that baby boy. Said another fifty. Aww. T Santa's, thank, <clears> thank you. you. Well, that is so sweet. We're absolutely gonna bless him, man. We're gonna get him some transformers, and we're gonna get him some whatever size clothes three year olds wear. You thank know? you, T Santa's. That is so sweet. He said he's got some boys, so he feels the pain. We, well, and it's just heartbreaking. Too, we know. The pitch is just heartbreaking. And that's what caught me. I don't come on here for everybody. I don't bring everybody up front. I get people all day long. I y'all y'all could not believe the sad stories I hear, and they're real sad stories. Like they're real, but it's like you can't bring everybody. You 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 can't help the world, even though you want to. You want to help everybody in the world, but you can't. So I don't even bring it forward because I can't. Right. So you know, I it's like man. If I don't reply to you, I'm sorry if you're in here and you're hearing this, but it's like I can't overwhelm people, okay? Like, it's not that I don't want to help you. If I haven't replied, it's because I know that I can't bring everybody's problems and situation to my following. Like, we hit a cook, family, fun, we chilling, but right now we got a situation in Louisiana. We got, we got a situation. This is the last one I'm doing. This is a kid. Like I said, Luke's yeah. three years old. But his transformers and his clothes meant a lot his clothes. I don't think he gives a damn about his clothes. <laughs> but his transformers meant a lot to him, you know? And his daddy's like, you know, well, his clothes and his transformers. And, and you just see him with his big boot, with his daddy's boots on. And it's just, it's heartbreaking, you know? It's, he said, you should be a more visual speaker. Plant the mustard seed and let it grow. That's right. Oh, uh, 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 no baby time. That department is closed. That ain't been closed Amanda yet. Amanda King. Nope. We got enough kids. Too many damn um, kids. Blessed, but baby, we done. They're from $25 to $60, but the new Optimus Prime is a whopping $700. It can transform on its own. Oh, hell, $700. Well, how much did you want was? 20, $25 to $60. As long as you... <laughs> Son of a bitch, man. Kids make you broke, for real. We got five kids. Bro, back you know. in my day, bro... I used to play Ninja Turtles, bro. About four dollars. You talking thirty dollars for a damn transformer? That's right. 
Lord, you so hard. Talk to Luke, bro. Hey, Luke, I know you like. like Luke, you need to bring it down. Be like Luke, I know you like. Transformers. Yeah, I'll be like, I know you like them Transformers, bro. But this here's a Ninja Turtle from the 1982s, bro. You 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 gonna like this right here? Oh, poor baby. Gosh, dang, bro, that much? Holy smoke! I don't, I, I don't buy Transformers. I have yeah, no idea. Yeah, our kids are like in like in the dinosaurs, magnet. I don't know. Fortnite started to cost us a pretty penny. I thought Transformers were like about six bucks, bro, if not eight dollars, bro. You talking about twenty, thirty, uh, seven hundred, you crazy. Ralph had to walk away. <laughs> you ain't got my nerves bad talking about fifty dollars for a Transformer. I'm you going do. down to Walmart. Y'all know how I roll, bro. Luke may not like RTB family when we roll up the fake Transformers, bro. <laughs> Look, the Dollar Tree all friends. Yeah, all that. The one you put together yourself and glue them and all that, bro. We ain't rolling in with no fifty dollar Transformers now. Holy shit. No, smoke. we gotta get that baby to the stuff. Damn, when I was a kid, I was gonna leave out there in the backyard. Man, I never oh, knew God. Transformers were that much money. Lord have mercy. Ain't that a, a guy that turns into a car? Isn't that what we talking about? Yeah. Right, y'all? A Transformer turns into a car and it turns into a guy. Bless his heart. RJ was in a Transformers. You just don't remember. I used to buy it on the down low. Wow. Holy <laughs> smoke, man. I used to buy my baby some Transformers mm. on the down low. What's up, y'all? So, <laughs> make them out of butter. <laughs> yeah, man. You have a butter Transformer. Be like, look, bro. You play with this thing for two hours, bro. It's gone after that, bro. <laughs> it's a done deal. Oh, poor Lou. Hey, that ain't no joke. I remember buying my Hey. What the hell? What? Oh, what? I ain't got no kids. Them dogs better be quiet. I ain't dealing what? with that noise. Come on. Oh, Rosie. Thank you, Rosie girl. <laughs> Thank you. We love your cooking, especially your attitude. God bless you for help. But we trying, y'all. Proms. Ooh, Lord. I'm just about to hit prom season with my teenagers. God help us. Yes. You can't go wrong with that series. eBay and Amazon. Well, we, we did talk to the dad. Um, and the issue is right now, packages aren't getting delivered. Because I even said, what about doing like an Amazon wish list that people could just buy directly oh. from that? But the issue is that we don't know their displacement issue as far as because a tree fell on their house and we all that. about that already. And then how well they would yeah, be able to get... Yeah, you can give me one. Claw, it's long. You said it. Yeah, oh, it is. Tonight. Yeah, because we thought about the wish list, because that would have been perfect. <laughs> the three-year-old's trying to have his own Transformer fight club. Wow, I can't believe Transformers are that much, y'all. What a mercy. Wow. <laughs> I never yes, Christy that. B., the older kids went off with Muddy. Muddy Outdoors, y'all go subscribe. Muddy Outdoors, 1980. Um, awesome family. They came in and brought her. Oh my God, an insane amount of donations, y'all. Like, it is phenomenal. Did you put that on Instagram or just Facebook? Facebook. You didn't put that on Instagram. A phenomenal amount of supplies, food, water, gas, like so much. They blessed us. We had an abundance of overload that we've been able to bless out to the neighborhood, community. We brought some to Lafouche Parish along with like some of the donations that we got. Oh, I'm still, I'm not, my hair is still messed up on any Transformers. My little thing was like five dollars. I see that. I'm talking about we coming through with Transformers. Yeah. Luke might be getting like about one Transformer, <laughs> maybe two on a good day. You probably could buy so many turtles with that money. Wow, right? <laughs> I, holy smoke, man! Transformers expensive equipment, yeah. man. So Muddy and his family really came through, and then well, not I guess, only I after, guess the hell he was crying that yeah he lost his Transformers. <laughs> I'll be crying too. What's up, y'all? What's up, Robo Show? So, um, they took the big kids back to Alabama with with them so that they could have a middle break. The big kids really went through it, go riding out Louis, the storm. Cut it out, boy. I think that's Coco barking. Okay. Um, so the big kids are getting a nice break. They're spoiling the crap out of our big kids. We have the twins still in town, but the big kids are gone, so they are having a blast in Alabama. Uh, yeah, we're married. What's up, guys? Cook that green onion sausage link. I'm hungry, bro. That's too much. That's for a video, Rhino. I, I, I know you're hungry. I got a video, bro. I can't wait to do this video tomorrow. Y'all, I'm excited. First video in like a month, or at least a few weeks, it feels like. 
Um, Y'all know what we need to do? I want to do my next live on YouTube as a cooking video. Like we cook together. Y'all know I like to do that. Y'all already know. <laughs> so. <laughs> Chill, not Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime is, I think, that's the good uh, Transformer. Out. That's unbelievable. I can't believe the price of any Transformer. I thought it was like about six bucks, if not eight bucks. Man, gosh, dog, man. Power Rose daughter and boyfriend, they good. So, Brandon, um, they got a lot of damage to their home. Um, my daughter, that's another one. That, that's a whole lot of thought. That's another one. My daughter got tremendous damage to her home. Yeah. Roof damage. Water damage. We have an adult uh, daughter, y'all. So, my all this baby. damage to her home. But I'm not going to come here and ask anybody for anything because she has insurance. So, she's going to be all right. Thank you, Chrissy, baby. Love Mama you. has insurance, so Mama's going to be all right. Uh, Sarah's brother, they had to swim out of his neighborhood. They got insurance. They're going to be all right. So... I don't come here and just say, hey, I don't take it lightly. We're gonna, if we're going to do something, we're going to do something with somebody. Even though it's a three-year-old baby, the poor baby lost his Transformers, and that's a lot to him. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. It don't have to be no family. Now, like I said, and I'll say it again. If it's your family and you out here and they need an air conditioning unit or some gasoline or some food or some water... Hit us up. Let me know. On Instagram. Baker, one-on-one, -on -one, Instagram, directly... Yeah. And we ain't got to put them on live to bless them. They need a blessing, I can bless them, you know what I mean, regardless. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, and if you'd like to donate, it's in the description, yeah. Cash App, Instagram. Everything page. is Ralph the Baker, no matter what you look for. Yeah. Except, you know, well, I say Cash App and, and Venmo is Ralph the Baker. But like I say, y'all, I mean, they don't have to be on my social media to get blessed. Because we do bless a lot of people, and, and, and they kind of, maybe they're like, Maybe a little embarrassed, and so I, I, we have blessed many people that way. You know that, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna make you go on social media like if you are uncomfortable with it. Yeah. Now I ask, and I'll be transparent, and I'll take videos of what we did and all that situation. But with Luke's situation, three little three year old little boy, his dad gives permission, so we're gonna go there this weekend, all of us together, guys, and we're gonna do what we can, okay? Together, RTB family, I'm gonna let them know. And I'll definitely let him know, and he'll he'll say thank, and he will. I'm sure he'll be thankful for it, and we'll get him on video, and it's not a problem. That's what we're gonna do, you know. And, uh, we can't change the world, but we can help a few people. You know what I mean? Now I didn't know these transformers cost me damn money, but Lord. Well, that's right. it's a donation. That's what it's for. I guess I just thought we can get a lot. What's up, Texas? Seeing in the house, bitch. Read that for a minute. Let me deal with these dogs so they'll go to bed. I am about to let these dogs make my night off. Wow. They about to go to bed. Uh, Sarah, do you know Luke has autism? I, I don't believe he does. I don't know. No, we wasn't. Um, I didn't ask. He did not say anything yeah. about any type of disability. He didn't he say. Asked. He didn't say. And I didn't ask, to be honest with y'all. So I, I'm not quite sure on that. Uh... I think he's just devastated that that tree so happened to hit his room and take him down and, and, and I think it's heartbreaking to him and you gotta throw your toys away and you gotta bag them up and they're wet and they mildew but this this is Luke right here. Uh, look at him. I mean, bless his heart. You know, look at him. It's truly sad, man. It's a terrible situation. Y'all look. So he's three years old. His name's Luke. That's his room right there. You see his little game at the bottom right there. Uh, he lost all his tr uh, transformers. He was crying. You know, he's upset. It is what it is. It's a sad situation, you know. So, we'll bless him as what we can. That's what we can do. That's all we can do. And so, we'll do what we can, guys. You know what I mean? Y'all know how it is. We'll just do what we can. Uh, let's see. Take it. Drink I'm it's okay. I know. It, it's just sad. It's just a, a, a terrible situation. Thank you, guys. They've been out for a minute. Why are they so much? I don't know. I think they're probably a big franchise, if I had to guess. I don't know. RJ was in a Transformers for like a hot minute. So it's just been around. It's a hot, hot commodity. Imagine when Luke Rose and Ashley understands the help that was given to him. People he doesn't even know. Y'all are affecting people in a good way, changing the world. Thank you so much. Jesus loves you so much. Jesus died. We love Jesus. We... We ready we love for Jesus. Lord, you man. gotta be ready for Jesus to get. That's who you believe in. Um, 
Thank you, Foamy Cobra. Don't forget to hit me up with email. Yeah. Oh, okay. we got you. I'm going to email Cobra, you. Cobra, we, we would home. love for you to ride with us. But now if you can't, you can't. But if you can, man, me, you, and Sarah ride out to LaFouge Paris or uh, Zip Night. A lot of people, man, they're getting down to the altar where they can't afford the fuel every day. It's, it's freaking expensive. Huh. I'm saying you're coming off oh, in 10 days. Oh, T. Santa just sent another 50. I think Santa, that's like so 200 so far. Yeah, you've done so much. Oh, that boy, you keep it. <laughs> you make me I keep know. giving you money. <laughs> bless his heart. You know, bless his little heart. And yeah, I didn't know Transformers were that much money. I mean, I really thought Transformers were like six bucks. It's all good. We're going to get them. We gonna whatever get them. money we raise. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what I just thought of? No. All right, your mama. Your mama's got to give it up. I do remember seeing some Transformer items in your mama's thrift store, too. I'm going to give that up. That's no, I know. I'm just saying we can go at the thrift store, too. I'll get that, and we'll go get some new Transformers, and we'll go, we got to get them some clothes, too, now, y'all. He's three years old, and he looks a little skinny because he's three, so get him some clothes and some I items. I thought he looked kind of tall for three. Well, hell, I don't know. I, I mean, I, maybe. I don't know. I don't mind three-year-olds looking no more. <laughs> you forgot? <laughs> I'm old. Cause we got a big old seven year old. Yeah, I got there. seven year olds, bro. That dude's freaking heavier than me, bro. So I don't know, but you know, here's the deal, y'all. No, know, he's a gonna, from what I understand, he's a sweet baby. He's just these kids. Let me tell you something. From our kids, just like Preston, our our one of our twins, our seven year old boys, he's really gotten a lot of anxiety from this storm. He locks yeah. the doors when he hears rain now. We yeah. didn't really realize. Do you think as a parent you could shelter your kids from all this bad stuff in the world? Shit. And us staying for this This fool was in there freaking locking my bedroom door. I said, son, I got to go out that door. Okay, dad, I was just locking the door because of the rain. So it's really, really traumatic. I'm sorry to cut you off. No, it's good. a really traumatic situation, man. Yeah. Like, like you don't, you don't realize. realize. You, hit the, you hit them 120, 140 mile an hour winds. You're like, oh my God. Yeah, like, the kids really go through it. And even just the aftermath of like, you know, kids don't always really realize. Oh, look at T. Sanders again. Oh, T. Here's money for clothes now. Oh, T. Don't, yeah, that's plenty. You've blessed yes. them so much you tremendously. Did. We're going to get the baby lots of stuff. Young Lou getting the transformer <laughs> blessing. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna bless him. He's you know, like you don't Arts realize the family. mental the mental anguish because we focus on as adults, I know we did. Like, oh my god, we don't have lights. We gotta get gas. And me and Ralph were kind of like in survival mode for like the first five days of like hustling and bustling, and we're getting up and like, okay. Map it out where we're gonna get gas because we gotta keep the generator running so these kids have at least no. When it's storm hit, now, I'll be transparent with y'all. When it's storm hit, I had about a thousand extra bucks over the bills and the savings. That's it. That's what I had, bro. That's just yeah. real. <laughs> about about a thousand, a thousand fifty. Man, y'all, it was scary to see how fast that money went. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Like I spent oh heck, cause I had to drive three hours out. And, and we I spent $500, y'all. So and it was like, oh my God, I spent half my damn safe, half, half my money right there. And I know it's not a, not a lot of money, but I, I don't make tremendous amounts on it. I got seven, 800,000 followers. When you're out of business, y'all, you're out of business. And I, I'm shut the hell down. You know what I mean? So, the RTB family came up and we're ready. What, $1,200, $1,100? And that eleven twelve hundred dollars y'all blessed me with, man, really helped me get through this damn storm. Cause I guess I didn't realize how expensive it is. Cause you're so used to going to the store, and then you spend fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. It's not a big deal, and then you go back the next day. But once you got a storm and you got to drive three hours out and get gas and get food, that's five hundred dollars. Cause you got to get enough for a few days. It's like shit, man. It's rough. Thank you, T. Yes, T. Santa. Thank you for the blessing. You blessing this baby boy so much. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, wait till y'all make sure anybody, whether you bless them or not, make sure. I think it's gonna be an awesome thing this weekend that we go do, and we can do it together. And and don't miss it. I'll put it on my community post that we're going out there, and then we'll go live and we will bless him. Yeah, and it's just like like we were saying, we don't realize how much it hits the kids. We like I was saying, I did. We focus on the hustle and bustle of survival mood because we're like, okay, we need to provide for our kids. We need to figure out how we're gonna get it. We have no resources, no supplies out here. Like you become in survival mood, like 
Like they say they did this and did that and did this and yeah. that. They didn't do anything, y'all. There wasn't shit. There wasn't no red cross feeding you no good old meal or, or no FEMA you to help you. You were getting out there to figure out how like, you were going to get. You know, it was scary. And it's still a scary situation. So it's like, all right, mm-hmm. I need this post office to open up so I can go back to work because they ain't gave me, I swear to God, y'all. And God forgive me because I don't like to swear on like that, but I got zero dollars from them. And I can guarantee you I'm not the only person. Yeah. I got zero, okay? So, it's scary. Now, yeah. you know, so... So, and then, so my point was, is that you're, as a parent, you're thinking, like, you're taking on all the stress. But your kids are watching it and hearing you and seeing and experiencing so much. They lost school. They're, all these kids won't be returning to school till we don't know when. They October, haven't given November, any, December. Any idea... No, it just says, like, to be, uh... To be determined. Yeah, to be determined. So, So they're out of school. They're... And they just went back to school. And, like, for instance, not to go job, but, like, RJ, my son, he loves school. He thrives in school. That's what he does. He loves it. And after all the craziness shit that started a while back, and I can't say it because I'll get in trouble here, but after all that, he was so excited to go back to school, and now he's out again. You know, so it's kind of like, man, this, this, this is a terrible situation. You know, uh, is is Lafouche Parish and Terrebonne Parish and Cutoff Thibodeau. And, and Thibodeau and Homa and Gramercy and, 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 and so many more parishes are in Laplace Reserve. Well, that city's in They're not getting the publicity they deserve. They're not getting it. But we can't, We can, what can we do about that? So, so we're just trying to help. Where we can. This is who we have. I'm gonna show y'all one more time because I'm I gotta go live on out on Instagram real quick. Damn, foot fell asleep. So this is who we helping. He's three years old. Lost his transformers. Lost his clothes, guys. So anybody wants to bless him, it's a YouTube. Y'all, I mean the 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 cash out Ralph the Baker, Venmo Ralph the Baker. That's who it is. That's who we helping. We'll go see him together this weekend. If you want to come with us, you're welcome to come with us. We're gonna go see him, guys, this weekend. I don't know if it'll be Saturday or Sunday, but this is who it is, okay? He's three years old. You see his boots. He's ag- He's stressed out because he lost his transformers and his clothes, all right? So, you never know. You know, it's it's important to him, you know? And so, just right. terrible. Everyone wants a normalcy for the baby. It's just about normalcy. You know, we can sit here and say that kids, you know... The little cities and parishes, yeah, correct. Yeah, that's true. That's right. And... There's so many places that we could say, like, oh, kids out here don't even have food to eat. It's about normalcy for our kids out here. It's about just restoring some type of bit of what is normal to them that can bring mental health happiness. T. Santos said another 50. Oh, quit doing that, T. Santos. I know, T. Santos, you you you, you're good. You're good. I so much. You we're we're going to bless them, man. It's just. It's a hard situation. Thank it's you. It's a sad I'm situation. Bottom of our hearts, T. Sanders. I just want to we say, really appreciate I'm, we're not trying to pull at your heartstrings to keep no. going. You've done plenty, plenty, plenty for this baby. <clears throat> um, <throat> I don't want to make you feel like you got to keep doing that. No, we just we're just showing wanna, people who who we're going to go bless this yes, weekend. We just try to be very transparent, help this baby out, and <clears throat> it's hard. It is hard because we're all parents. Yeah, a lot of us are parents, I should say. And like his dad said, you know, I, and his dad told me, he said, you know, he said, Ralph, he said, I, I've never asked for help or things like that. And I've never accepted anything. Oh, I stopped showing the baby. That's and why he, said, he keeps doing that. He said, maybe it's my pride that I got no way. But he said, you know, we had a point where we just need a little help. He said, I've always had my pride that got no way, I think. And this is this is what he told me. You know, and, and I get it. You know, it, it, it's, I'm a dad, and, and and I understand it. And it could be a mama too. You know, our pride gets in the way. We don't want to ask for help, and but sometimes when things are so bad and they're out of our hands and out of our circumstances, it is what it is. We need help, and, it, and it's hard to ask for help. When I went to YouTube and asked for help, oh my God, comments made Sarah cry. Okay, but I needed the help. Sarah's like, you want to just delete the post? I said, absolutely not. And so I raised $1,200, but I desperately needed that $1,200. I, I, I needed it at the moment. If I don't need it, I damn the hell sure ain't asking for it. But I'm out of work, I'm out of business, I can't mail, I can't ship, I got disputes coming in. 
I needed a little financial help. I mean, you know, it, it, yeah, I, I don't like to ask for help my damn self, y'all. I don't. I do not want to ask for help. I guarantee it. I don't like it. It's a little embarrassing, and on top of that, you just don't want to ask for help. Who the hell wants to do that? You know, like, it just sucks, you know, but it's the boat you're in. It's a bad circumstance. It's devastated. And it is what it is, you know. And Sarah's like, let's just delete it. And she's crying because of the comments and all that. Because there were more terrible comments than there were good comments, okay? If I'd have had $1 for every terrible comment, I'd be very well off right now, okay? I'd probably already have a food truck, all right? But it is what it is. And then, like I said, I mean, I did raise about 1200 bucks, which really, you know, Sarah, helped us through the storm. On top of Big Swole and Money Outdoors, I mean... We were able to survive, you know, until we can get Thank through God. this thing. We, you had so, so, I would say anything out of this platform is the people that we've met, the friendships, even if we've never met y'all personally, just conversating with y'all on, on like lives and stuff and comments have been so amazing. And just, just connecting with people that genuinely love you and, and respect you and are there for you and support you, whether it's just a prayer or an uplifting comment, positivity or something taking away. So much we can grace more. Mel, y'all, y'all, you know Mel, it's not about that, baby. It's, 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 it's not even about that because some people, all they can do is send a, a positive vibe or just a prayer for you, you know, and, and even that matters. That, that matters when you're going through the situation and, Oh, we love you too, crazy girl. You know, and, and I don't like the ask for nothing, y'all. I've been having 800,000 followers for a long time. 500,000, 400. I don't go on that and ask for nothing because I don't do that. That ain't, how, that ain't what I do. No, work for everything. I, 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 I work for it. I, if I don't work for it, I work 16 hours a day on it, y'all. And to be honest with y'all, it's goddamn killing me that I can't do nothing. Hopefully, I can do something soon because I'm used to doing it now. The haters are nothing. Yeah, you know, the haters aren't nothing. And, and people that say negative things, and I read a comment earlier and then I deleted it. It's like, the guy's just a scammer because if you notice his last three posts, it's all about helping in cash out, not posting videos. It's like, dude, I can't post a damn video right now. Now I got lights. Now I'm back. You know, it's like, y'all, you just need a certain amount of normalcy in your life before you can continue. I love to cook and love to share recipes, but I needed some kind of normalcy in my life to be able to do it. And finally, it's here, and tomorrow I will, I will post the video. But it's like, you know, I only asked help for me one time in a year and a half or two years, I, almost two years probably since I've been having my platforms. I don't ask for help. Uh, I just don't because I don't need it. I, people bless me. They buy my products. They, they do a lot of things, okay? But I don't, I don't ask for anything because I normally don't need it. Never, ever. Unfortunately, we got a category, us, three, hurricane, and it tore us up. Yeah, they don't understand my circumstances. A lot of people say, well, you know, it's a scam. He's got 165,000 followers. I do. I, I definitely do on YouTube alone. And I have a half a million almost on TikTok. And last month's TikTok videos... Got about five or six million views and I made $126 in a month. And last, the 21st, every YouTube gets paid on the 20th. Because I don't give a damn. I'm just straight up. YouTube does pay better. So on the 21st of the month, I normally make point blank, bottom line, between $800 and $1,000 a month. But y'all know how many videos I post. I spend that on food alone. But I do it because I love it. That's just a straight up honest truth there. That's just the reality of it, okay? I don't get $10,000 a month and 20, like, come on. No. If I did, <laughs> sure the hell, I would be sitting Paul? in this damn house. Yeah, I guarantee it, okay? You ain't Jake Paul? I ain't Jake Paul and I ain't Mr. Beast. I wish I was making that kind of money. If I was making that kind of money, I'd change the goddamn world. That's probably why I ain't making it now. Because it's the way it is, okay? Uh, let's see. Oh, he's getting Transformers. I guarantee it. We've raised a, a, quite a few hundred already on Transformers. But 
All right, guys. So listen, anybody that wants to donate to to our baby, he's three years old. Transformers is what he wants. His daddy said he does need some clothes. Uh, Ralph the Baker Cash App, Venmo Ralph the Baker. We're gonna go to this weekend. So either Saturday or Sunday, I'll post to my community when we're going at live. Right now, I'm gonna jump off real quick. I'm gonna do a 20 minute live on Instagram because it's getting late. Other than that, thank you so much, everybody that donated and helped them. Uh, we're going to make it happen. We'll, we'll be there this weekend to make it happen. So, y'all be safe, man. Be blessed. I'm going to go hit Instagram. If y'all want to come, it's Ralph the Baker 101. We'll be there, guys. Love you guys. Love you so much.